hi guys how are you all doing welcome back again to my channel my name is doris in case you're coming across this channel for the first time make yourself comfortable and feel relaxed to my returning subscribers i welcome you all too i am back again with a fiction story between licorus and emmanuel i dropped few chapters few hours ago which you can check if you haven't gone through that one i dropped um chapter 13 14 and 15 few hours ago just go through it so as to enable you understand this particular one we are about to move into because i'm here with chapter 16 17 and 18 and in summary of the one um i dropped few hours ago liqua rose told emmanuel that she's done that she's no longer interested in the relationship that she's not doing it again this is what she said out of annoyance because of um the confrontation by liquorose's ex uh -huh. so emmanuel was asking her this when you are acting like this do you still love him are you still interested in him so liqua rose fled up and was like why will you ask me that kind of question in fact, I am done. <laughs> this was what she said and um, she left Emmanuel and went home. Remember, this is fiction story. Yeah, this is fiction story between Licorose and Emmanuel written by one of their fans just for fun and to educate people out there. We learned a very huge thing uh, on our last chapters. Anger cannot take you to the right dimension. Yeah so without wasting much of our time let's move into the one i came with but on a quick one please if you've not subscribed to this channel please do me this favor and subscribe to this channel okay turn on the notification bell that whenever i drop my videos you will be the first to be alerted please recommend this channel to people out there recommend this channel to your family members recommend this channel to your loved ones to your colleagues at work please recommend this channel to them so that they will join us here we entertain we gist and uh, we bring the latest gossips your way trust me you will enjoy this channel with me so now Licoros, now out of anger left emmanuel and went home so chapter 16 Likoro said yes i don't even want to see him again ella laughed and said you are joking right Likoro said no while crying ella said hmm i'm definitely not going to say anything tonight because i know you are not in the right state of mind but my sister think well oh Likoro said no i hate him ifoma said rosa think twice Likoro's phone rang immediately and it was a manual Luca Rose said, don't pick it. I hate him. Ifoma said, I'm not picking. You will be fine, okay? Days went on and they were not talking. Emmanuel tried all his possible best to talk to her, but all to no avail. He called, tested and all sorts, but she was not replying. He decided to visit her at home. So he arrived there and knocked. Ella said, yes, who is there? Emmanuel said, it's me, Emmanuel. Ella said, oh, she opened the door. Emmanuel said, hi, Ella. Ella said, hi, good evening. Emmanuel said, good evening. I'm so sorry. I know she has explained everything to you guys. Ella said, hmm, yeah, but what you did is not good now. Emmanuel said, I know, and that's why I'm here. She has not been picking my calls, and it's affecting me. Just as they were talking, Luca Rose and Ifoma walked into the sitting room. Luca Rose said, who is that? Ella moved away from the door. Liqua Rose hissed and said, get out of my house. She walked away. Ella said, come in. We will go and talk to her. Emmanuel said, please do. Thank you. They went to Liqua Rose's room, but unfortunately, she has closed the door. Ifoma said, Liqua Rose. Liqua Rose said, what? Ifoma said, please come out now. Liqua Rose said, no, I don't want to see him. I hate him. Ella said, at least hear from him first. Liqua Rose said, I don't want to. I don't need his stupid explanation. Ella said, babe, please come out. Open this door. Liquora said, I don't want to tell him to go away from my house. Tell him to leave. Ifoma said, Rosa. They were at the door for some minutes, but she didn't change her mind. So they returned back to Emmanuel. Ella said, I'm so sorry she didn't listen. Emmanuel said, hmm. Ifoma said, or oh, better still, come. Come and try. Emmanuel said, yes, thanks. Emmanuel followed them. He knocked, but no response. He talked and talked, but she didn't say anything. He stood at the door apologizing, but she didn't respond to him, so he decided to leave. Emmanuel said, maybe I will try again next time. Ella said yes. Emmanuel said, thank you so much. 
Ifoma said you are welcome. Bye. Emmanuel said bye. He left and Liko Rose didn't open the door till the next day because she was deeply hot. When Emmanuel got home, Alex said, hi bro, what's up? Emmanuel said, still the same. So Leon said, she didn't talk to you. Emmanuel said, she ran to her room when she saw me. Alex said, ha. Emmanuel said, yes so. Alex said, guy, are you sure you are fine? You are not looking healthy to me. Emmanuel said, I'm fine. Thanks, bro. He left for his room the next day. Ella and Ifoma tried to convince Liko Rose, but stubborn Liko Rose didn't answer. About three days later, Emmanuel was already weak. He had no strength again. He was so weak because he has been thinking and not eating. Alex and Leon thought of what to do, so he decided to call Liko Rose. Liko Rose saw the call and said, why is an unknown number calling me? So she picked it and said, hello. Alex said, hello, it's me, Alex. Please listen to what I want to say. Likoro said, okay, I'm listening. Alex said, Emmanuel has not been well for three days now, and I and Leon has been the one with him. But we got a very important and urgent call from PH concerning our businesses, and his sisters are not in the city right now, and our friends are not around, and we possibly can't leave him like this. Please, can you come over? I'm begging you, please. Likoro said, no, I can't. I'm busy. She hung up the call. Ifuma said, who was that? Likoro said, Alex. Ella said, what happened? Likoro said, he said Manuel is not feeling fine and he's traveling, blah, 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 and I should come over and look after him. Wait, am I a medical doctor, a nanny, or a nurse? Ella said, but Likoro, between the three of us, we know you are free. I mean, so free this week, so why can't you go? Likoro said, they are lying, Joe. He's just pretending. If I said, what if he's not pretending? Rosa, please let's go. You are already doing too much and I'm tired. Relationship has flowers now. Don't think yours will be perfect. It's normal to fight in a relationship. You are doing too much, oh. What if he's not pretending? Likoros, don't blame yourself for your actions, oh. Don't regret it. Likoros said, hmm. Ella said, I agree with Ifoma and what she said. Come to think of it, I know you are not okay. You are just acting strong. You love this guy. Likoros said, yes, and that's why I'm mad. Ella said, please call him back and tell him you will come. Liko Rose looked at them. If I'm now said, please do this for us. Liko Rose called Alex back and told him that she is coming. Alex said, thank you so much. Liko Rose packed a few things and went to Emmanuel's house. She met Alex and Leon before they left. And when she got there, Emmanuel was sleeping. Chapter 17. When she got there, she decided to call Ifoma. Ifoma said, hi, sis. Liko Rose said, hi. Ifoma said, is he pretending? Liko Rose said, no. Ifoma said, you see, I told you, you met Alex. Liko Rose said, yes, they left not quite long. Ifoma said, what of Emmanuel? Liko Rose said, he's sleeping. Ifoma said, are you with him now? Liko Rose said, no, I'm in the sitting room. Ifoma said, so what do you want to do? Liko Rose said, I want to cook. I bought some stuffs on my way here. Ifoma said, oh, that is good. Liko Rose said, hmm. Ifoma said, please, you guys should try and settle. Egovino, my sweetheart, my angel, please. Lukore said, I have heard you. Ifoma said, okay, sweetie, don't let me disturb you. We will talk later. Lukore said, okay, bye. Lukore went to the kitchen to cook. After she finished cooking, she decided to set the table. Emmanuel waked up and was hearing some sound from the kitchen. He was shocked because Alice and Leon had told him that they were traveling. Emmanuel said, who could be that? He stood and went downstairs. Surprisingly, he saw Likoros. Emmanuel was just staring at her. Likoros said, oh, you are awake. Emmanuel said, yeah. Likoros said, come and sit so you can eat. He obeyed and sat down. Likoros said, you can serve yourself. I'm going to bed. Mind you, don't think I forgot all you said. I'm just here because of Ella and the former, Leon and Alex. Once you are done, leave the plates. I will come and wash them. She turned and was about to walk away before Emmanuel held her right hand and stood up. Emmanuel said, I'm so sorry. Luke Rose didn't face, face him still. Emmanuel said, I'm deeply sorry, please. Luke Rose struggled to remove her hand, but she couldn't. Emmanuel said, please look at me. Hear me out first. Luke Rose turned. Luke Rose said, oh, yeah, leave my hand. He dropped her hand and she folded her arms. Luke Rose said, I'm listening. What do you have to say? Emmanuel said, I'm sorry. 
He moved closer to her. He tucked her hair behind her ears and the feel of Emmanuel's touch made her shiver. It was so quiet that she could hear every breath he took. His hand smoothed the length of her hair as he gazed into her eyes. His fingers straight down her cheek on her lips, outlining the shape of the mouth. He bent his lips against her cheek, brushing it lightly. Shivers ran through her whole body, making her tremble. He brushed his mouth to her jaw. The aching and special for his kiss was suddenly too much and she reached for him and pulled his mouth to hers. He kissed her gently and carefully but it wasn't gentleness he wanted. She knotted her fist in his shirt and pulled him closer. They seemed to share each breath, each heartbeat. It felt as if the universe disappeared and all that remained was the two of them holding each other so close. She pushed him immediately. Nipporo said, I forgot I was mad at you. Emmanuel chuckled and kissed her nose. Emmanuel said, I wish we could stay like this forever. Lukoro said, me too. She said softly into his ears. Chapter 18. Immediately, Lukoro pushed Emmanuel. Emmanuel looked at her angrily. Then Lukoro said, what? Or you come and eat so you can take your drugs or else Alex and Leon will kill me. Emmanuel said, really? But you didn't remind me to take my drugs before. You only said eat. I will wash the dishes later. Lukoros, you should even be thankful that I told you to eat. I would have just left the food on the table and go to bed. Emmanuel said, ah. Lukoros laughed and said, just kidding. Emmanuel said, are you not eating too? Lukoros said, hmm, I will. They both sat down and Lukoros dished the food. Emmanuel was just looking at her. When she finished dishing the food, Lukoros said, why are you looking at me like that, Oga? Emmanuel said, I love you. Lukoros said, well, I hate you. Emmanuel said, don't worry. I know what that hate means and I'm sorry for hurting you. Lukoros said, it's fine. I understand how you felt. But honestly, I didn't mean it that way. I think I overreacted. Emmanuel said, why not? Just let us forget about it so it won't ruin our moment. Lukoros said, sure. Emmanuel said, yes. Then Lukoros said, oh yeah, let's eat. Emmanuel said, yeah. When are you going? Lukoros said, ought to go on Tuesday, but now you are fine. I will go tomorrow. Emmanuel said, and who told you I'm fine? Lukoros said, are you not fine, Mr. Man? Let's eat. Emmanuel said, I'm not hungry. Lukoros said, hey, don't eat. Emmanuel said, ah, you're not even romantic. Lukoros laughed and said, should I feed you? Emmanuel said, yes, let's eat together. Lukoro said, like using the same spoon? Emmanuel said, yes. Lukoro said, uh, I'm kinder OCD. Emmanuel said, but we just kissed now, Nabi. Lukoro looked at him and said, you are not serious. So Emmanuel said, just kidding. Lukoro smiled and Emmanuel said, oh yeah, feed me. Lukoro fed Emmanuel and they shared the same spoon. After eating, Emmanuel said he has a movie he wants to watch with her and she agreed. When they are watching the movie, a neighbor knocked at the door. Lukoro said, are you expecting someone? Emmanuel said, no. Lukoro said, let me go and check. She stood up and Lukoro went to the door and said, who is that? The neighbor said, Sandra. She turned to Emmanuel. Then Lukoro said, who is Sandra? Emmanuel said, my neighbor, open the door. She likes me. I wonder what she's looking for, Seth. Yeah. She opened the door and Emmanuel joined her there. Sandra said, good evening, Emmanuel. Emmanuel said, good evening. Hope there is no problem. Sandra said, a Lexus car parked behind my car and I knew it was you. Congratulations. Emmanuel said, yeah, it's my girlfriend's car. Sandra faked a smile and said, oh, your girlfriend? Emmanuel said, yes. Sandra said, okay, nice to meet you. Lico Rose then said, my pleasure. Then Emmanuel said, are you going out? Sandra said, yes. Lico Rose said, okay, we are coming. Let me get my key. Then Sandra said, okay. So Lucoros went to get the car key and she went downstairs with Emmanuel to take the car from the road. So when they got inside, he hugged her, holding her tight against him. When they broke apart, they both smiled. Emmanuel said, I hope we'll be together forever. Instead of answering, Lucoros reached for him and kissed him passionately. He gasped as she put her lips against his ear, whispering his names all over again. As soon as they were done, Lucoros rolled into his arms, putting her head on his chest. Then Lucoros said, I love you. Emmanuel said, I love you too. And they slept off. The next morning, Lucoros waked up to prepare breakfast and she was wearing a very beautiful short gown and lovely dress. 
Emmanuel waked up and located Licorice in the kitchen. Emmanuel said, Good morning, love. Licorice said, Good morning. How are you doing? He hugged her from behind. Emmanuel said, I'm fine. And you? Licorice said, Fine too. Emmanuel said, I'm hungry. Licorice said, The food will soon be ready, okay? Emmanuel said, No, not that. I want to. He said, pecking her neck. Oh my, these two fit themselves. I'm telling you, see the way they just reconciled. But all thanks to their friends, especially um, Alex that came up with that idea. And also Ella and the former that um, convinced Lucoros the need for her to go. This shows having good friends around is a very beautiful thing. People that will tell you the truth, no matter the situation that you find yourself in. Not problems will surely happen in relationships. Two or more persons uh, can disagree to agree, but the most important thing is coming together to resolve the whole situation and reconcile. Remember, this is fiction story between Lico Rose and Emmanuel, and we just stopped at chapter 18. I will be coming back with the remaining chapters later, okay? Stay tuned. Remember, my name is Doris. Till I come your way next time.